Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Grim Reader. I am Kathy Grimm, The Grim Reader, here to give you a little bit of an update on the past week, mainly in terms of my reading, plus etc. And so the good news is that everything is resolved with my minor mouth issue. It was nothing serious and just as I had thought, we were in and out in a very short time. It wasn't really worth driving there to, but I guess it was worth to get the little official okay um, uh, document. And I'm showing, gonna try and show you who's at the window here. You see him? Mr. T wants to be let in. Mr. T, oh no. Let me just let him in, okay? Yes, so he's in. What else is there to update you on? There's a new bakery chain in town that we tried out and it was quite good. The, the, it's like a Korean French and it's a chain called Tous Les Jours. And the only thing, it's a little bit sad here. And I don't wanna to be too negative about where I live because I mean, we like a lot of things about it, but like even the store, it was sort of like overrun by the young people. <laughs> and so we go in there it was also just very full, um, pr probably because it's just opened. And it's the kind where you go pick out your own, but there was a, such a long line that you felt kind of, you had to hurry up and make your choices. So the vibe was a little bit, wasn't as cozy as, as one would want it to be. Well, that's okay. And then today I've been having kind of, even though I thought today would be a nice day because I'm not super busy because of just how I've set things up. I'm really like, on edge and I wonder if it has to do with the fact that last week I didn't sleep well on Sunday to Monday and I don't know what's going on I mean I feel fine it's just really really kind of some kind of hormonal it on anxiety issue but it's just just no real reason for it <laughs> who needs a reason <laughs> so the, the uh, let's come to my reading I finished two things actually. I finished the novel I was actually reading, Antonio White's Frosty May, which was very good, but it wasn't, I only gave it four stars. I mean, I did, I, it was very sort of more of the same-ish, like it was her oppressive boarding school days with the, the, the nuns who were sort of overbearing and, and, and surveillance-y. And it had a kind of sad ending or she got kicked out of it. But, you know, for reasons that you, if you read it, you'll find out. Um, wasn't completely blown away by, by it. The writing is strong and solid, but it was just not like, wow, how, what a great book. It was more like, it's a good book. And then kind of the same for the other one. I should never, you know, I thought, I don't know why. I mean, it was, I listened to this long, well, pretty chunky overview of many, many centuries. So mid, 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 medieval times, mid, mid, middle ages from about the, the, fall, the first sack of Rome to the, the sack of Rome in the, in the 1500s, which I didn't really know much about that one. And to be honest, I still don't know that much about it. That's the whole thing about listening to this kind of, first of all, it's just listening to it and not taking any notes and not being tested on any of this stuff. But, and, and even though I do know some of this stuff, I do know the basics of German history a little bit and, you know, the Reformation and uh, pretty, pretty uh, superficial. I, even after this, I could still say my logic is pretty superficial and I don't really remember a lot of the stuff that's in here. I'm just reading about the, the sack of Rome of 1527. So I don't really feel like I've learned a lot. That's because I would have to study this. I would have to be tested on it. I'd have to take a class in it and be tested on it and then I would maybe learn something. And just listening to it, just it wasn't the right, right way to do this kind of stuff. So I'm glad I have the book, though. I can dip into it. It has um, uh, it has illustrations and pictures of some of the people. Bernard Bernard of Clairvaux, Saint Bernard. He he figures prominently earlier on, and um, yeah, as I recall, and yeah, no, it's interesting. I mean, a lot of the stuff is interesting, but it was just so I would want to kind of have more on more about certain things and less about other things i don't know it's just so it's another four star read listen for me then i started listening to a, another trollop called built in a state but it was a librivox recording and so the reader wasn't hitting the right intonations that you kind of need with trollop to really get into it and i kept finding myself trying to put the intonations where she where she wasn't putting them so much so that i gave up and then i couldn't find a good 
paper copy either. I mean, they didn't have my beloved Oxford edition. It's not out in that one. So I think I just uh, bought a cheap Kindle version so I can read it on the Kindle because I was enjoying it. And I started listening to another shorter trollop, the Dr. Wardle's School, which is interesting because it's school trollop, like in education stuff. And one of my uh, viewers ha was uh, reading it, Winterlinde. Tell me what you thought. <laughs> uh, and then um, let me think. I had another book that I thought I might read, but then I found out that I don't really like the author that much, I mean, the person. And it's... W. Somerset Mom, very interesting fellow, but kind of, I don't know if I can take his, I don't know, he's too, 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 he's just too, <laughs> let's put it that way, even though the novels seem kind of interesting, I don't know, but I put it aside, and so I was sort of wanting to already show you my next novel, because the past few weeks I've been able to hold up a new book every week, and it's kind of nice to see a new book every week, but I don't really have one, and, it, and so I'm going to break the to, instead of just holding up something, just just to hold up something, I'm probably just going to have a different picture for my video this week. I have been listening, uh, reading some Rilke a little bit. Read, some of his poems speak to me. So maybe I could give you this book to this. Maybe this will be the, the thumbnail. It's my little uh, edition of Rilke poems um, that I dip into. I haven't read that many of them. I find his, I find his poetry delightful or well no that's not the right word i am moved deeply by his poems but i don't always understand them like i find him hard i mean i'm reading him in german of course and i'm always a little bit like surprised at so many that he's such a hit with um, english the, the english speaking folks sorry the light's terrible <laughs> not that i really care that much about it but anyway so i have been reading a little bit of Rilke. But that's about it. I haven't. I don't have a new novel besides the Belton Estate on the go, and since I am so busy, maybe I'll just read that one. It's okay to just read one trollop, and I'm kind of liking not having multiple multiple things going because when you're a slow reader, the minute you have more than one, and I still have those big ones that I haven't touched in a while, the three, well, one of them's not that big, but I'm just kind of saving it. Um, I think it's okay to just slow things down and just have one, just read one, since I don't have a lot of time to read. So yeah, a bit of a short update. I think everything else is going fine. This teaching is going quite well. It's a lot. It's a lot. And um, yeah, that's it. First, second week of February. And um, thank you all for subscribing and liking what I have to say here. A, a little in my tiny little corner of the of the YouTubes. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you next week. Tell me what you're reading. Um, have any of you, I know that Marilyn, Maya, you had liked Human Bondage, of Human Bondage. Now that's Mom's masterpiece apparently, and it's sort of autofiction. So maybe I should go back to that one. But he was just so weird with women and like tried to disinherit his daughter and say that she wasn't his daughter because of the whole thing of how he felt kind of like he was forced to marry the, the, the mother. Uh, it's just very complicated. <laughs> And I don't know, it's kind of unfair to get to, to just find out enough about a person and then not want to read them. But in some cases, maybe it's okay. But tell me if you've read any mom, if you would recommend any Somerset mom. And yeah, I will talk to you. Or anything else. I love recommendations. I never really ask for them, but just let me know what you're reading. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.